Hey guys, in this video I'm going to review multiple products from Helltech BMS company. They recently reached me out and asked me to do video reviews and test their products. And they sent me four active balancers and two BMS units. So for active balancer, what we have here is uh, this for 12 volts batteries, 3, 3 and 4S configuration. This is just 4S configuration and for uh, 48 volts battery we have this 10 to 24 s configuration and 12 to 16 s configuration uh, and they claiming that this can do impressive 5.5 amps of balancing with this balancer this is 10 amps which is really great if it actually can do this balancing and then we have 4 amp balancing and 5.5 amp balancing and then we have two BMS units, one is 16S configuration and this can supply up to 120 amps for discharge and this can charge battery using 60 amps and the second BMS unit is 4S, 330 amps of discharge and 100 amps for charging. So we're going to test active balancers first and then we're going to test BMS units. For test equipment, I'm going to use 16S battery, lithium iron phosphate battery and 4S battery. Also, 2 ammeter is going to be attached to the battery where we can see what is the actual amperage for balancing. And for this battery, we're going to have this monitor where we can see individual cell voltage. And for this battery, I'm going to use uh, this BMS, which is just going to display what is our cell voltage. So right now I'm preparing battery for the first test right here where all cells is going to be top balanced and cell number one is going to be fully discharged and then we'll attach this balancer. So for specification for this balancer, this is 5.5 amp version right here. We can see that uh, balancing current is going to be from 0 to 5.5 amps the more balanced battery the smaller is current which is understandable then accuracy they claiming that accuracy is going to be 5 millivolts and here is some additional specification so now let me prepare the battery we'll connect this active balancer and we'll see how good is going to balance our cells all right so the battery is ready for test right now we have cell, cell voltage difference is uh, seven uh, 725 millivolts i'm going to connect balancer active balancer so we have indication light that it's working right here and uh, we can see that amperage so right now we are pushing three amps into the cell number one and we're getting about one amp from a uh, cell number four okay and to give more chances this balancer to balance i'm going to attach power supply and set it to 14.4 uh, volts which is going to be 3.6 volts per cell so in this case it's going to have um, much better chances to balance our cells All right, let's come back in a few hours and we'll see what is the results. Just a quick update about five hours later. Cell voltage difference at this point is 319 millivolts and I did lower voltage on the power supply. I started from 13.7 somewhere there because what was happening is cell number two was overcharging. So right now it's exactly 365 volts. And as you can see, right now we are pushing into cell number one 1.4 amps so i'm gonna run this test for maybe a few more hours and we'll see what is the what is the result is going to be but for now you can definitely see it, it's pushing energy from one cell to another cell but it's a little bit far from uh, 5.5 amps and uh, for lithium iron phosphate batteries as you know 317 millivolts voltage difference is a huge voltage difference all right let's wait for a few more hours and we'll see the final result all right, so here's the results after six hours of uh, balancing this battery. Right now we have voltage differences at 300 millivolts and uh, cell number one is 333 millivolts. And uh, on the amp meter, we can see that we are balancing with one amp. So you can roughly calculate how much time it's going to take to balance this battery. In my case, it's going to take about 20 hours to fully balance this 25 amp hour battery. So this balancer definitely works, but I didn't see 5.5 amps yet.
So I'm going to move to another test where all cells is going to be discharged and only one cell is going to be fully charged. And instead of this one cell, so I'm going to disconnect cell number one and instead I'm going to connect power supply, which is going to mimic cell number one. And I'm going to use power supply instead of cell because I can bump voltage to really high voltage and we will see if this active balancer can push 5.5 amps at all and what is the voltage difference should be at this point. Let me prepare the battery and we will jump into the next test. All right, at this point cell number two, three and four fully discharged. And as you can see, cell number one negative post fully, fully detached. So and uh, this capacity monitor and the balancer going, going right here to this lead and this lead is going to um, power supply. So now what I'm going to do is to supply positive power supply right here. So we are mimicking that power supply right now is a cell number one and I'm going to um, introduce some voltage difference. So we have 325 volts voltage difference where cell number one is the uh, highest, uh, highest cell. And uh, right here we can see that we are pushing one amp from cell number one. So now for this test, I'm going to just start increasing power and we will see if we're going to reach five amps. And when we're going to reach five amps, what is the voltage difference is going to be? We'll just see. Okay, so we have 5.5 amps and the voltage difference is uh, 1.4 volts and voltage on the first cell right now is a 4 volts 228 millivolts all right so this was quick test for this balancer it just cost 15 bucks it's definitely do balancing but but not 5.5 amps in real life don't expect uh, from this balancer to push 5.5 amps so now let's move to the next balancer i'm going to test to perform same test f with a second 4s balancer this is saying it's di different type so i'm curious to see how this one is going to work so that balancer is um, for 4s 10 amps and um, uh, type lithium uh, polymer and lithium iron phosphate batteries so uh, let me set up do same setup we're going to start with this test we will see if it can push 10 amps and then we'll repeat test number one we'll see um, where is the balancing amperage in the real life all right so i connected this active balancer uh, i'm using same balancing leads as for previous balancing and here's how this one looks like all right so here's a voltage difference 1.68 volts and we are pushing 10 amps through this balancer and um, uh, cell voltage at this point should be 4.6 volts uh, lithium iron phosphate or lithium polymer cannot get this voltage in real life maximum voltage for lithium polymer is 4.2 for lithium iron phosphate is a 365 so now let me try to decrease for like let's say 300 millivolts and we'll see what is the amperage is going to be there okay so here's about 300 millivolts voltage difference and we've got 1.6 amps Okay, so we also confirmed that this definitely can do 10 amps in a certain condition. Now let me prepare battery for this test and we will see how this works in real life. I'm ready to start this test. All cells charged to three, almost 365 volts per cell and cell number one is discharged. So right now power supply is just charging this battery. I'm going to disconnect this for now. So we have about 980 millivolts voltage difference between cells. Let's connect active balancer. So we can see that it's pushing four amps into the cell number one. And we're getting about 1.1 amp from my cell number four. So what I will do next, I will just leave power supply charging the battery. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna adjust voltage to make sure I'm not overcharging cells and uh, i will leave this overnight so it's going to balance about 10 hours and in the morning we'll come back and see what is the voltage difference between cells all right and here is the results in the morning let's see where we are voltage difference is a 235 millivolts and uh, i see some imbalance between cell number two and three which wasn't here before we started this test 
and uh, we're still pushing one amp into cell number one. So yeah, here's the results for this active balancer. If anyone is curious, I just did open this box and uh, here's the active balancer inside. Now let's move to 16 cells balancers or 48 volts batteries. So for the first balancer, this one, for that one, I'm not gonna even test this because it's exactly same type of the balancer that we just tested and we know how this performs. So I, I will put this aside. But for second balancer, I'm curious in this one because if we see here, so that one has application and this one has Bluetooth option. So I'm, we're going to connect this to the battery to Bluetooth application. We will see what information we're getting. As well, I did disassemble this unit and uh, right here we can see this capacitor 2.7 volts. So something is telling me that um, this unit might work as a device which is sucking energy from one cell, storing this in the capacitors and then pushing this energy to another cell. So it might be different type of, of an active balancer. So I'm just going to crimp wires which is going with this balancer, connect this to 16S batteries to this battery and we will see how this performing. So battery is prepared to test this active balancer and I connected this to the battery already. So we have right here is a B negative, which is going to first cell negative. And then we have 16 cells positive, 16 balancing leads positive, which is going to each cell of course. And the last uh, B positive is going to B16 cells. This is to power this device. Uh, right here is a link for application and uh, right here is application. So what we can see right here is um, pack voltage, minimum voltage for the cell, maximum voltage for the cell, and then voltage difference. Right now it's 586 uh, millivolts. Right here we can scroll and see individual cell voltage. I wish I can this expand to see all voltages at the same time. Then in the settings we have cell count, when to start balancing, basically at this point is 5 millivolts, then maximum balance current is 4 amps, then uh, sleep voltage. If cells will drop below 2.5, it will stop balancing. And uh, then we have battery capacity, battery type and the uh, buzzer mode if we want to shut this down. And now I'm going to enable this active balancer. And what's happening right now is uh, charging capacitors with uh, 4 amps. And on uh, this amp meter, we will see how many amps it's pushing to cell number eight, which is the lowest cell right now. Okay, and now we can see it's pushing four amps and it's pulsing. Okay, so now I'm just going to leave this for a few hours, maybe a little bit more to give this more chances to balance this battery. And I'm going to, to connect power supply to charge this battery. So let's come back in a few hours and see result how well this active balancer balanced this pack. All right, so here we are about 12 hours later. Let's see what is the status of balancing. So we have 17 millivolts difference and looks like our battery is balanced. So here's the result for this active balancer. And uh, I think at this point I'm tested all available active balancer which is exist on the market. Make sure to check playlist. And I'm really curious to hear your opinion about all of these balancers. I hope you will find this video informative. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.